everyone, welcome back to City Girl Living on a Budget. My name is Julia, and this video is going to be about my goals for 2021. And I only have two goals. Not to say there's other things I'm not going to work on, like I'll work on my sewing, I'm going to pay off debt, but I'm not going to specifically make them goals. What I'm going to focus on this year, my first goal, is to have $5,000 a month in revenue, or $5,000 in revenue a month by the end of this year. So by December, 2021, I wanna have $5,000 a month in revenue from my reselling business. So how am I gonna go about doing that? Well, right now I sell primarily clothes as well as some home goods, mostly picture frames. And while that's fine, I do need to start expanding out, looking at, um, basically when I say expanding out, I mean, when I go to Goodwill, look at the home goods section of Goodwill and not just you know, the clothing section. I Because when I go, I look at clothes, I look at shoes, I look at purses, and that's fine. But I really feel like I do need to diversify what I'm selling online. So I'm going to start looking for the home goods section. And I kind of already do now. I look at picture frames. You know, I kind of sort of do now. But it's very, like, it's not my main focus. When I go, I hit the clothes first and I hit the shoes. Sometimes I'll hit the purses. I don't normally find anything good. I found, sometimes I find good purses, but usually not. So sometimes I, I sometimes I look at them, sometimes they don't bother. It just depends. But usually after that, then I'll look at home goods. So it's not like my main, it's not where I focus on, right? So what I'm starting to focus on is I actually need to like look and not make it an afterthought. Or if I do look at clothing first, I actually have to keep, because by the time I get done with clothing, I'm probably already a couple hours in and I'm like, I'm just tired and I want to go home. So, but I can't do that. If I hit the home goods section, if I look at that, I have to keep, like, I have to stay awake and alert for it. I can't just vaguely scan through stuff as I walk through the aisle pushing the cart. I actually have to stop and like look at things. So I think what I might do to kind of help with that, I'll start when I go to Goodwill or any thrift store that has a home goods section for that matter, not just Goodwill. I'll look at the home goods section first, pick that up first, and then head over to the clothes. Because I have to start getting into the mode where I'm looking, not just, I do, I mean, I do look at home goods, but it's more of like an afterthought, or it's like, you know, very, I have to actually start like paying attention as I'm looking at stuff pick it up, evaluate it, things like that. So that's my main issue. The other thing I'm going to think about when it comes to reselling, I don't know. I mean, I've joined some reselling groups on Facebook more than what I have before. Cause now that I moved to eBay, I joined some eBay groups as well. And people are like selling furniture on eBay that they bought off marketplace or they bought off Facebook marketplace and they sold it on eBay for a profit. And I'm thinking furniture. Like, this is stuff that would never have crossed my mind, right, to even consider, much less actually actively try to source and sell. So I'm probably not going to touch furniture, at least for a long time, because, yeah, I will probably never do reselling furniture. But the point I was trying to make is that I need to get out of my comfort zone of clothing and home goods. I've always loved clothing, you know, like I've my mom and I would go shopping as a kid and I loved it. I've always loved shopping. I've always, getting into thrifting is new for me. I've gone to thrift stores before, but I never really knew my love of it before I started doing this. So, um, but it, I always, I've always loved going shopping. So it's kind of, I call it my comfort zone. You know, it's like, I know it. So this is something I'm, I know well, but I need to get out of that. I need to start exploring like other categories for selling. So that's what I'm currently doing. And hopefully that'll help me get to my goal of $5,000 a month or $5,000 a month in revenue, $5,000 in revenue per month. I'll get that one day. And my second goal for 2021 is to get monetized on YouTube. So yeah, my, the only thing I can do for that is really just keep posting videos regularly and keeping you guys updated on my progress. And that's it. Those are my two goals for the year. I still have some, like I said at the beginning of the video, so 
focus on my sewing throughout the year and, you know, other paying off debts, saving up for a house, whatever, you know, stuff I've been focused on before. But the main, my main focus will be on reselling and working on YouTube. So thank you all for watching. I will see you all in my next video, which will be Thursday because it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, today's Tuesday, so Thursday. See you Thursday. Bye.